Hello, my name is Gabriel. I'm a pet room manager for Zamzos, and I'm here to show you how to set up an enclosure for an Australian frilled dragon. This is what this guy looks like. He's kind of scared, so we're going to go ahead and let him off camera, and then I'll show you how we can set this up. Oh, he got scared there. You getting really, you getting upset there? There we go. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. All right, let me get a couple of lights here that we left down on the floor. Now, we've got our, our Exoterra lights here, and we've got a bunch of different stuff we need to do. We're going to start out with our substrate, though. This is uh, Coco Soft. Great product. Absolutely one of my favorites to use for tropical animals. If you can kind of look at it a little bit, you can tell it's just roughed up coconut husk is all it really is. And it works very, very good as a natural organic type substrate for a lot of different tropical animals, frogs, other animals. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to dump a bunch of this in the bottom if you can see through the screening here. And we're going to leave probably just enough to cover all the way across the bottom so that there's not too much in here that he's going to be picking up while he's eating or doing anything else in his cage, but just enough so it holds on to humidity as well as captures waste as he goes to the bathroom. Let me go ahead and get this out here. So we got a bunch in there. Set that down to the side. Now what I'm going to show you first off is how we've got a nice big plant here. It's really nice and good size. Really good. We're going to go ahead and put this in here for them because of the fact they like a lot of area to hide up in, in foliage. And so that's very important to help keep them safe as well as happy. So we're going to make a little hook here out of this and go up to the top of my little deal here to the outside. Uh, the cage that we're using is an Exoterra screen terrarium and it comes with a nifty little locking device up here that you can put your, uh, your different plants, everything that has a wire hook over the side, you can actually put that up there and it's not a problem in the world. We're going to go ahead and add some wood for him, some stuff for him to climb on because they do like to, to go and get up and that kind of stuff. We'll put this over the top of it here, slide our cage back on the table. Go ahead and stick the other piece of wood in there just for him to have to play with, get up on top of. And then comes his hideaway and his water dish. Now water is very important for these guys because of the fact that number one, and we're going to use an Exoterra water dish as well, it's a nice deep water dish, they like a fair amount of humidity and in a cage like this that's made of a screening material, it's hard to keep that humidity high. So the one thing I do is I set up all of my enclosures that need a higher humidity with a Repticlear, it's another Exoterra product. Um, uses uh, it's just a small plump, a pump with a uh, foam insert inside to help keep uh, you know things that get stuck in there from getting into the motor and messing it up. And again, you set that down into the water dish. You set it up, and the cord actually can go out that same spot that you have your uh, plants and other things coming in through. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do that because it takes a little bit of time to do that. Um, we also have. Jungle Vine by Exoterra, another really, really good product, especially for these guys, because you can bend it into any shape you want, and then just set it in there, anchor it as best you can around another object already, and that usually makes a really, really nice type of uh, enclosure. Well, if I could do it right. There we go. Yeah, we'll get that. As you can see, it can be a little wily. But we get it bent in there and get it in place so that they can use it. And we'll grab that again. Here we go. We'll set that back in there so it doesn't come loose again. Now we have a hide cave for them, which I kind of blocked it off to put it in there. But you do want to give them some place where they can hide, where they can get out of the way. Um, and past that, just a lot of foliage, a lot of stuff for them to hide in because they can get very stressed out. And the last thing that we'll put on the top here, slide our little door closed. Last thing that we have are the lights. Now we have Exoterra clamp lamps. There is a 75 watt bulb in here. It's a tight beam desert bulb so that it puts nice heat in one spot for them. And then we have a UVB producing bulb. Now UV light is extremely important for reptiles. It's one of the main reasons that reptiles have problems in captivity because they don't get enough of it. It mimics natural light outside and it helps to stimulate vitamin D3 in their skin so that they can take in calcium in their bones. Now we're using an Exoterra bulb in here as well. It is a 10.0 Reptiglow bulb. Works very, very good. And we'll go ahead and turn those lights on so you guys can see what it looks like. It brightens it up quite a bit. 
And that's pretty much how we set up an enclosure for an Australian frilled dragon. So if you need any other information about the products that you see here or any, any pet care information, you can always find that at zamzos.com.